sorcery soap. And I'm going to show you how to make uh, cold process soap sprinkles. So first of all, you want some soap dough. I happen to have some. And I just made this. It'll be on the website when this video goes up. This is Rainforest. And this I scented with First Rain. So I have some of this for myself right now. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on the website, but I made a ton of it. And we're going to use an extruder. This is just a clay extruder. You can get them off of Amazon for like $10. And then you want to put it on a piece of parchment. I've learned that if you put it on parchment to let it dry, it doesn't stick. It sticks to uh, paper towels, but it won't stick to the parchment. So this is the size. There's another size. They Each one of these extruders comes with a whole host of little, um, here, let me show you. This is two extruders sets. So half of these you get like that and you get big circles and so anyway, there you go. So we'll put this in. So I, get an, I have a green one and a red extruder, and I figured out that I needed more than one shape, so I, I ended up buying another one. And the green one's really stiff. This one isn't stiff at all. And it, So here's what happens. You just spin this like this, and then it'll come out eventually. See? It comes out like that, like clay. Now, when I first did it, I took each one of these individual ones, when I first made the soap dough sprinkles, and I rolled them out. Yeah, I have more time than sense for sure, but anyway, I rolled each one of these out so that they were, they, they cure straight like this, so that I could just chop them up. Because I really wanted them to look just like sprinkles. So if you have the time and you want to do that, that I perfectly think is a great idea. And then I get, I did some more just as a test, and I rolled them out like this. Now, when you do this, you want to sort of separate them a little bit so they don't stick, because they will clump together. You really don't want that. Remember, you're going to break them up in little pieces, so it doesn't matter. So all that time I spent making them straight kind of was pointless. Because I just did this the other day. And they came out perfectly fine. So there you go. And then you just break it off. So then make sure they're separated. Because see how they stick right like here together? You don't want them to stick together because they will cure together. And if you don't know anything about soap dough or cold process soap, or this is the first time you've seen any of this stuff, there's tons of stuff on my channel that you could take a look at. I've written three books about this topic. And I'd be happy to help you. Um, and so what it is, is it's moldable cold process soap. It's just cold process soap that has had its curing process thwarted so that you can make soap embellishments with it. You can mold soap. And this will wash right now just like a great bar of soap. It's just still moldable. So... There's that. I wanted to show you that. And I wanted to show you this new color. Well, it's not new. It's just a restock color. So this is 
the pink bubble gum that I just really love. Look at that. To me, this is it's just ideal soap, soap dough. Well, it's a great soap recipe, but it's also ideal soap dough because you can see how pliable and smooth it is. So this is also going to be on the website. This is now on the website, correction. It is, it'll be on the website by the time I upload this video. So here are the sprinkles that I made. And they're not sticky. They're like that. They're like actual, they look kind of look like candy sprinkles and you could use them for a, a variety of things and they'll stay good for a long time but once they're cured you can put them in a jar you can't do that quite so you can see here let me there so these are starting to cure already because I can touch them and they don't stick together but so you just leave these for a day or two. I, I left mine for mm, day and a half, I think, two days. And then I came back up, I came and just chopped them, chopped them with a knife. I tried to make them a little bit, see how they stick right now? I tried to make them a little bit more systematic, like I said, when I rolled them out and then lined them all up. So I'd roll them out and line them up together like this and chop them. It doesn't matter, you could just chop them up and, and even just, you know, fill your extruder with different colors. I thought this pink would look good with this rainforest green. And make your own combinations of colors. So if you want some soap dough, head over to Sorcery Soap and check out what's going on over there. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you. Okay, bye.